fucking Dolce and I hate two lights as far as you can see Bad jeans, you can see that and I put that ish on me Oh shit, I'm in Waza, I done did that shit again Bitch and body, thotty, cheap, bad behavior, she done left with me Talk long, man, my nuts be hanging while your head like some nuns Man, that's just who we are, yeah. Victor Gonzalez, foreign tough luck. Look me up. Shout out to my streets. Shout out to my stove. Miss Gaddy. Shout out to my bikers. Be safe. What's up, guys? I'm Justin. Welcome back to Misguided. Today, we are going to start our first scooter build. Super exciting stuff. It's a bug eye for my guy Edwin. We went ahead and hooked him up with the Scooter Squad starter pack. We're going to do the pipe, variator work, top end kit, and a big carb. Uh, so let's just get right into it. I have actually never worked on a bug eye before. It's been strictly pre-bugs and elites, so this should be fun for me. Where's the key go? <laughs> Stupid bug eyes, man. Pre-bug, it's right here. Everything's right here. I know exactly what to do. Figured out how to open it. You just turn this guy. To the left. To the left. Not a pre bug. So we'll get the seat off, the rack, all those plastics, pull the bucket out, and go from there. I'm like geeking out a little bit being here, to be honest. Are you? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, I follow the channel. Oh, cool. Do you watch the, the vlogs that we do for the yeah. shop? Yeah, Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Where are you going to be on them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one's bone stock. It's a, it's a two stroke 50, it's a 49cc. Uh, but we'll, what I like to do, and like me and my guys, we'll put 70 kits on them. That's what's done. Like this one's totally tricked out. We'll do like a 70 kit, big carburetors, a bunch of CVT work, and it, it basically like doubles the power on them, and it makes it way more fucking fun to ride. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. This good dude. The scooter wave is is probably the coolest thing going on in Chicago right now. In my Pop this rack off of these back plastics and then pull this front floorboard off. This way everything is open and I can see what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Why is this not pissing oh, gas right now? Okay. So now that we have the shell off and the bucket out, you can see that this is obviously not a vertical motor like what's in the pre-bug. This is horizontal. That's another difference between the pre-bug and the bug eye. It's a totally different style motor. For me, it's weird. That thing, I've never worked on one of those. I mean, it's the same idea. It's just the way that it's laid out is different. Yeah. But typically what's going to happen is you're going to go intake carb, intake manifold into the head. This, the manifold doesn't bolt up to the head. It's got its own port. You see what I'm saying? That is actually kind of weird. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Now that I point it out, it's kind of, you get it? It's interesting. Isn't it? So what we're going to do next is take the air box off, pull the carb off, intake manifold, take all these covers off, and then get to the motor itself. This way we can get going on putting the 70 kit on. So there's our first glimpse at the top end of this motor. The customer said that when he bought this, um, that the gentleman that he bought it from told him that it had a 70 kit. I don't think that it has a 70 kit because it doesn't have a pipe and it has a stock carb, but we're gonna find out right now if it actually does have a 70 kit. And look, I found a screw. We'll use that later. Do not lose this. You do not want to lose this. This is what holds your oil injection on. <laughs> you can be just like me. <laughs> if you subscribe to my 90 day program, I have the winning formula and you could too. Taking note of how everything is run before I completely take everything apart. Yeah, And there is your motor. So next, we're gonna take this pipe off and get the head off of here, I think. This is my next move. 
I'm gonna Metal die. power wheelie. You should loop it for the video. No, I shouldn't. <laughs> you should loop it for the video. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> An electric bike's got no business being that fast, right? Oh. Ah. God. <laughs> Wild, right? That's like way too fast for some guy. Oh, I know. We're gonna have some fun on this thing today. <laughs> Don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> All right. I'll see ya. See ya. Pipe off. Looking pretty bare bones. Uh, we got the pipe off, carb off. We're gonna get the intake manifold off, pull the hat out, piston off. We're gonna change the reeds out when we do this, so this needs to come apart anyway. Reeds. And they seem to be sitting flush, which is what you want. Uh, you'll start getting some goofy problems when they start to peel back because they're old or you could shred a reed and you get a lot of weird stuff going on. Look how weird this is put together, how huh? the crank. The intake is coming through the crank. Isn't that weird? And so far the only tools that we have used are a 10 mil and two different size Allen keys and a Phillips. You can get drunk and take people's scooters apart with three tools in your pocket. <laughs> right? <laughs> Me outside the bar <laughs> taking your fucking... Wouldn't that be funny? You're at the bar and you steal my girl. Next thing you know, you go to leave and your fucking motor's taken apart on your scooter out in the parking lot. You wouldn't know what to do. Me <laughs> <Hey>, scooter! <laughs> That's you. When I take your fucking scooter apart. How does it look? It doesn't look horrible. It no. looks like it's been running a, a stock fucking... You want that nice chocolate color? on your plugs, plugs on a two stroke. You're gonna go through them just like top ends. Depending on how much you're riding or how much I'm riding on that scooter, I'll go through like a plug a week, but they're only like $2. So we'll pull the head off right now. It's a little bit chewed up. It looks like there's some pitting on it. Uh, so good thing we're getting in here to, to do the top end anyway, because it looks like he was about ready. Oh wow, look at this piston. Yeah, this thing's fucked, huh? The cylinder is somewhat marked up. This piston is absolutely gouged. Looks like he's got a broken ring on it, maybe? Oh, he's got an aftermarket... He's got an aftermarket rod in here. So maybe this is a 70 kit. I don't see any labeling on it, though. All you gotta do is pop these little C-clips in. Uh, you just need to take one out, and then you can slide your pin that way. And then when you're reassembling it, I like to put one in prior to sliding the pin in. This way you don't have to put two pins in in an uncomfortable position. You can start with one in. You want to brace the piston so you're not stressing the rod or anything. Yeah, look how hot this thing got. There's no play, really. I mean, there, there's always going to be a little bit of play. Uh, but it doesn't seem to be in excess. So we're gonna go ahead and run that crank and that rod. I believe that the damage is mainly just on the on the head itself and the piston. Uh, we scraped this with a razor a little bit to get some gasket residue off it. So now I'm just wiping it down, make sure everything's clean. You wanna make sure that all your gasket surfaces are super clean before you reassemble anything. Because if you don't, you will have massive air leaks probably and your motor will either lean out or just not run. A uh, little tiny piston. We have Nick's nose rings. This comes with the kit. Uh, pin and your single ring. Single ring kit makes more power. You're gonna burn through more rings, but they're super easy to change and they're really cheap. So just stay up on changing your rings if you have a single ring kit. How often do you blow through them? Dude, fucking, it depends on how much you're riding it. How often do you blow through them? I have gone through three top ends on, on one scooter this season, but that's the name of the game and that's why this stuff is so cheap. And it's really easy to replace too, so it's really not that big of a deal for me. Don't make me fucking look stupid putting these in because it's always hard well, to Well then put, put them in right. I'm gonna put them in right, it just takes a bunch of tries sometimes. 
Does this look lined up on the back side? No, go back. No other way. Right there. Is it lined up? It looks like it. There it is. What's up, guys? Yeah. What's that all about? I'm coming right back down here. 5400 block. A fucking guy is dragging this girl by her hair in the middle of Harrison. Jeez, man. What the hell's going on? And I, the girl got up. I was like, are you good? And she's you like, okay? yeah, I'm good. And okay. I was like, okay. And I handed cool. her a purse. And I came back here. I dropped off the box. And I was like, I can't just leave that alone. And I go back there. And dude's got her, like, up against the fence. Are you sure you're okay? Bro, you can't be beating on no girl, bro. I was like, you can't do this to this girl, bro. And he reached in his pants. He's like, you want to fucking die? No, no. I was like, yo, I'm not about to fucking get a shootout. And I just like went around the corner to the car and like observed it, called 911. The cops still ain't even there. What, this is just right down there? Right there. At that stop sign. What? Yeah. In front of a hospital? Yep. You feel helpless? Yeah, for sure. Nothing that you can do. Yeah, I can't do anything. That's I the know. worst part. Yeah. Checking for burrs on all these ports. Anytime you do a uh, top end on a scooter, some something you want to look for is burrs on these because that'll ruin your good time quick. It should just slide in really easy. You never want to force this just like that. BR9HS, got them in stock. If your scooter needs a spark plug, come see me. So we got the top end all put back together, plug is in it. We gotta put the pipe on, put the new reeds in, get all the covers back on, and then we'll get into his variator. But before we get into his variator, we're gonna start this thing to make sure that it runs. 